ஸ்ரீ சாயி சச்சரிதா சாப்டர் தேர்ட்டி செவன் சாவடி ப்ரொசிஷன் இன் திஸ் சாப்டர் ஹேமாத் பந்த் ஆஃப்டர் மேக்கிங் சம் ப்ரிலிமினரி அப்சர்வேஷன்ஸ் ஆன் சம் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் வேதாந்தா டிஸ்கிரைம்ஸ் த சாவடி ப்ரொசிஷன் ப்ரிலிமினரி பிளெஸ்ஸட் இஸ் சாயிஸ் லைஃப் ஃபார் ஹிஸ் டிவோட்டிஸ் பிளெஸ்ஸட் இஸ் ஹிஸ் டெய்லி ரொட்டீன் His ways and actions are indescribable. Sometimes he was intoxicated with Brahmanand, divine bliss, and at other times completely self-absorbed. While doing so many things at the same time, he was yet at- unconcerned with them. Though he seemed at times quite inactive, he was not idle or dozing. He always abided in his own self. Though he looked calm and placid as the sea, he was deep and unfathomable. who can describe his ineffable nature he regarded men as brothers women as sisters and mothers he was a perfect celibate as everybody knows may the knowledge we got in his company last long unto death let us ever serve him with wholehearted devotion to his feet let us see him god in all beings and let us constantly remember his name Hemad Ban after making some lengthy dissertations on some topics of Vedanta which he himself considers as a digression goes on to describe the Chavadi procession Chavadi procession Baba's dormitory has been already described one day he slept in the masjid and on the next in the Chavadi near the masjid he slept in the masjid and in the Chavadi on alternate days This alternate sleeping at both these places went on till Baba's Maha Samadhi. From 10th December 1909, devotees began to offer regular worship to Baba in the Chavadi. This we will now describe with His grace. When the day of retiring to the Chavadi came, people flocked to the masjid and did bhajan in the mantap, courtyard, for a few hours. Behind them was a beautiful palanquin. to the right a tulsi vrindavan and in front baba adorned his seat and there were the devotees singing bhajan men and women who had a liking for the bhajan uh, came in time some took tal chiplis and kartal mridang kanjiri and gol all musical instruments in their hands and conducted the bhajan sai baba was the magnet who drew all the devotees to him outside in the open some trimmed their divatyas torches some decorated the palanquin some stood with cane sticks in their hands and hailed victory to baba the corners were decorated with buntings in the masjid rows of burning oil lamps shed their light baba's horse sham karna stood fully decorated outside then tatya patil came with a group of men to baba and asked him to be ready Baba sat quiet in his place till Tatya came and helped him to get up by putting his arm under Baba's arm. Tatya called Baba by the name of Mama, maternal uncle. Really their relationship was extremely intimate. Baba wore on his body the usual kafni, took his satka, short stick under his armpit and after taking his chilim, tobacco pipe and tobacco and placing a cloth over his shoulder, became ready to start then tatya placed a golden embroidered beautiful shela shawl over his body after this baba himself put a few fuel sticks into the duni to keep it alive and with his right hand extinguished the lamp burning near the duni and then started for the chavdi then all sorts of musical instruments band and horns etc gave out different sounds and fireworks exhibited various colored views men and women singing baba's name started walking doing bhajan to the accompaniment of mridang and veena some danced with joy and some carried various flags the baldars announced baba's name when he came on the steps of the masjid baldars are uniformed escorts on two sides of baba stood persons who held charmers and others who fanned baba Chamar is a bundle of animal hair fixed at one end of a stick. On the way were spread folds of cloth which Baba walked on being supported by devotees hands. Tatya Patil held the left hand and Mahal Sapti the right and Baba Sahib Jok held the chatra umbrella over his head. In this fashion Baba marched on to the Chavdi. 
the fully decorated horse named sham karna led the way and behind him were all the carriers waiters musical players and the crowd of devotees hari naam the name of the lord was being chanted to the accompaniment of music as also the name of sai in this manner the procession reached the corner and everyone who joined this party seemed pleased and delighted on reaching this corner baba stood facing the chavdi and shone with a peculiar aura it seemed as if the face of baba took over the glory of the rising sun baba stood there with a concentrated mind facing the north as if he was signaling something all the instruments played music while baba moved his right hand up and down for some time kaka sahib dikshit at this time came forward with a silver plate containing flowers besmeared with gulal red powder and threw them on baba's body off and on the musical instruments played their best at this juncture and baba's face beamed with radiance and beauty and all the persons who viewed this uh, lustre to their hearts content words failed to describe the splendor of this scene sometimes mahal sapati began to dance as if possessed by some deity but all were surprised to see that baba's concentration was least disturbed with the lantern in his hand tatya patil walked on baba's left side and bahat mahal sapati on the right holding in his hand the hem of baba's garment what a beautiful procession and what an expression of devotion to witness this men and women poor and rich fl- flocked there baba walked at very slow pace bhaktas followed on both sides with love and devotion with joy permeating the whole atmosphere of the place the procession reached the chavdi those days are gone now nobody can see them in future but by remembering and visualizing that sight we can bring solace and ecstasy to our minds the chavdi was also fully decorated with a good white ceiling mirrors and many sorts of lamps on reaching there tatya went ahead and spread an asan seat cushion and placing a bolster made baba sit there and made him wear angarka coat then the devotees worshiped him in various ways they put a crown on his head with a tuft above placed garlands of flowers and jewels round his neck and marking his forehead with musk mixed vertical lines as vaishnava devotees do they gazed at him for long to their hearts content they changed his headdress now and then held it at, aloft on his head fearing that baba might throw it away baba knew what the bhaktas wished for and meekly submitted to all their ways without objection with these adornments he looked wonderful and beautiful nana sahib nimonka held the chatra state umbrella with its beautiful pendants which moved in a circle with its supporting stick babu sahib jo washed his feet in a silver dish offered argya and worship with the due rituals then bespeared his arms with sandal paste and offered him tambul betel leaves baba sat on the asan gadi while gatti a uh, gadi while the tatya and others kept standing when baba sat on the gadi supporting himself against the bolster devotees on both sides waved charmers and fans shama then prepared the chilim and handed it over to tatya patil who drew a flame out of it by inhaling a deep breath through his mouth and then gave it to baba after baba had his smoke it was given to bahat mahal sapati and then it was passed round to all blessed was the inanimate chilim it had first to undergo many ordeals of penance such as being kneaded by pot makers dried in the sun and burnt in fire and then it had the good fortune to get the contact of baba's hand and his kiss after this function was over devotees put garlands of flowers around his neck and gave him scent and bunches of flowers baba who was an incarnation of dispassion cared a fig for all these necklaces of jewels and garlands of flowers and other decorations but out of real love to his devotees he allowed them to have their own way and to please themselves finally babu sahib jo 
waved the arti over baba observing all formalities and the musical instruments played their auspicious tu tunes when this arti was over the devotees returned home one by one saluting baba and taking his leave when tatya patil after offering chili utter scent and rose water stood to depart baba said to him lovingly god me properly go if you like but return sometimes at night and enquire for me on replying in the affirmative tatya patil left the chavdi and went home then baba himself prepared his bed he arranged some sheets one upon another and thus making his bed went to rest we shall also now take rest and close this chapter with a request to the readers that they should remember baba and his chavdi procession daily before they retire and go to bed bow to shri sai peace be to all